We like to do what we want them to. So we really need to get the P hat by the wall up here so we can grab it with the gust jar. So he's going to do some very uh, precise movement and get the P hat up here on layer two. Or no, this is still layer one, but just up on this ledge. Um, and then he's going to very carefully move the P hat. Um, if we grab the P hat with the gust jar, it will die. So we need to make sure we don't do that. And then we're going to slowly push it into position over on this bridge. Uh, and once it's in position, we're going to do a trick where we push it up, and then we're going to see, okay, you can't walk into it, but if you can't walk into it, you can boot dash through it. And now we're on layer two, and we can just dash over this whole area, uh, which skips getting all those golden kin stones. And the bigger thing it skips is this area of the map, Wind Ruins, which is kind of just like a slow slog where you have to get Minish a bunch and then grow a bunch and just do a lot of slow things. Uh, we can just completely skip that because we're out of bounds. And now we're in the third dungeon, Fortress of Winds. And it's time for another RNG minip. Yep. We're very, very, very hard to do. Like, deceptively difficult. So um, here's a nice little bit of positive RNG. This enemy can either attack you or it can be lazy. And yes. if it's lazy, that saves about a second or so. Yeah. Because then they're not actually good. You don't have to ab guard or anything like that. Um, it just sits there and it's like, meh. <laughs> so we see chair pose. Chair pose is also much stronger in general than um, some of the other poses in the game. Anything that has like less reps overall typically has a higher damage output. So if I were to try and do this with any other exercise, like squats or overhead press, I would have to do 37 reps per attack when doing it on intensity 30. That's why we go ahead and do only the chair pose. The 16, right? Yep. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so much love. I love it. So this is probably a good spot for maybe a few more donos as he's walking on down. Absolutely. $20 here from Tofu Raven, SGD Boo. But what about LuigiDQ? <laughs> I like that. That's what I like to Th think. Luigi's man. That one got me to laugh. <laughs> this room is sweet. Set. And we're going to be right up here. And now, lots of cool inertia movement tech in this level. All right, so here we go. Now we got to do the setup. We got to stand on a very weird spot here, and then we're going to skip down to the boss. Just trust me. Yeah, so this entire level kind of backtracks around to this section. Um, but by playing at 120 FPS with turbo off, you can stand at like the corner of this object that's supposed to take you to the next area, and it'll land you like semi out of bounds. And then you can yep, jump sure. out of bounds and do that inertia movement to fly to the end of the level, basically. Yep. So we just skipped like three rooms and like a whole fight, and we skipped doing a gyro blade, and that's the best part. That's, that's the, best the real part for sure. Yeah. Here. here we go, we're racing, Mr. Vile. Greedy crocodile doesn't make me smile. On round one, we'll grab all of these items. We don't gotta fight him, he's real slow. That's right, on round one with Mr. Vile. Greedy crocodile doesn't make me smile. Going around to eat up all the yumblies. Yumblies in my tumbly, hey, let's go. Greedy crocodile, Mr. Flippin' Vile, doesn't make me smile. Here we go, we're gonna eat up all the yumblies. Yumbly in the tumbly, doo da da doo, but da da doo da day. That's right, he's vile. The crocodile, he's a greedy croc. Sucks rocks, don't make me smile. All right, now that time is running out. Mr. Vile is gonna lose, no doubt, cause I'm the better, faster crocodile, and he's stupid slow, Mr. Vile. Yeah. Are you crazy? Slow down. You can hurt someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You should listen to Deborah. She knows some things. No, Deborah, Deborah, I gotta, I gotta go fast. for your safety. I gotta beat the chief. Otherwise, I'm Whoa. gonna be turned, I'm gonna be Thanos snapped out of Whoa. existence. <laughs> Was that oh, debris there? You just need that debris? Yeah. yeah. No, this game's got look great at, physics. Look at that, look at that go. Look at it. It's still going. It's still going. There it is. <laughs> I got so distracted, I almost crashed into that barrel. <laughs> Did you guys want to see Michael Jackson turn into a robot? Yes? Yeah. Uh, it's a lot cooler than the skip. And teach Joe Pesci a lesson for being a jerk. There we go. <laughs> uh. yeah, this transformation's the best part. Let's go. 
<laughs> I don't know about so you. So silly, man. I love it. <laughs> it's like a brand so new game. Honestly, oh, it's 100%. nice to get back at these green soldiers for what they did on to me on the last stage. So. Very family friendly to utter destruction. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Sean's gonna like get himself stretched out here and launch. That looked like a good launch to yep, me. Yeah, we're good. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're in a totally unloaded area right now, um, which is usually a pretty big problem in this game. Usually if you get yourself to an area that's totally unloaded, there's really just not anything you can do there to progress, but he can actually make his way over here to one of these worm heads. And by some small miracle, uh, the placement of this cookie on the wall allows him to jam both heads into the loading zone in a way that really just shouldn't be possible. Okay, we're good. There we go. And we got Hu here, which will help us get a few oranges. Um, the reason he, or he aimed right at the pink is because Hu is always going to try for the most points, so by giving him the pink right away, he'll try and include a few more oranges. Okay, this is definitely this a tough one. A loss. We'll see here. It's going to be tough. Come on. Come on. Maybe. Yeah! There's okay, one more. one more. Wait. Oh. <sighs> okay, so we need one more free ball. We're one shot. Or two pegs. Or two yeah. pegs with one shot. Orange. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. We should be good. And so we should be fine as long as we play it nice and easy okay. here. Okay, okay. Yeah! Woo! That frog first try! <laughs> Let's That's go. huge, everybody. Okay. And we're now on to the last set of yep. levels. And so I can actually get around to the top of Titan, and this should be fine. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, I was running my own splits in the background. That's world record by a minute and a half. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's world record by a minute and a half right there. I've been doing some runs as practice. I set like one in practice earlier. I wasn't expecting to do uh, that well at this one. So uh, GG. There you go. Um, <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good last time, actually. So we're going to be doing a trick here um, affectionately referred to as ACD proxy. You can also call it bookcase proxy. Or um, like a lot of runners, you can, you can call it uh, an awful trick. <laughs> Um, basically, we're going to be timing a X input very specifically to jump off of a platform that we're going to be like ledge grabbing this like little bookcase, like the hole between the bookcase and this wall. And what that's going to do is it's going to launch us up. If I can get the timing right here. Flying raccoon. Flying there we go. raccoon. There we go. And we're right here at the peak. No need to play these levels, right? Nice. Uh, and this first one I'm doing here is Ice Ruins. Originally, uh, this is probably the hardest dungeon casually. Originally, we thought this dungeon was like impenetrable. There are like invisible walls everywhere. We were like, we're never going to be able to do anything in this dungeon ever. Ooh, what's going on? Uh, we thought it was impossible. Uh, and then we were messing around a little bit. And Fash, Fash had this idea. Around. I think yeah. it was Fash. Oh, clip back up. Uh, so I'm trying to get in this in the ceiling here, kind of finicky. Okay, now this is a little scary. Oh, transition. Whoops, not a huge deal. Just got to go and do that again. This trick is is pretty tough. Uh, ben is attempting to. This dungeon is also vertically stacked, but it goes downwards instead of up. Uh, and so Ben is attempting to get out of bounds by being pushed by this block into the wall, then dash into some collision below, and then Ben is looking to drop down at a specific place and then drop down again to fall into the boss room. Okay, so now I'm in the boss. Do you see the boss? He's right there. Yeah, there's the boss. And he's dead. This is one of those moments when you're racing that you're like, please just be here, please just be here, please. I just want this to be over with. Because <laughs> it is stressful during races, that is for sure. Um, so I can't really do the... Uh, okay, I can try to do the infinite with the girthing buff, but it is not consistent. But I think it's worth it because it'll save a lot of time. A little bit of serious time here. There it is. Okay, we got it. So this is a stun lock um, that is super duper consistent uh, as long as he turns around. He has a chance to do a different attack that um, where he doesn't turn around, 
and it's really, really bad. It's uh, doing that setup, it's random. There is a different setup that makes it hyper consistent. However, it wouldn't allow me to have the buff on my uh, sword, so I would be doing like significantly less damage. Mm -hmm. It's doing some headbanging here. <laughs> I do have to be careful because if I do drop the um, the rhythm. I do have to keep the rhythm up, otherwise uh, the infinite will drop, and uh, he is not fun to fight without uh, this exploit, that is for sure. I've maybe done it like a handful of times, like there legit. He also has the most health in the game, I believe it is 12,000. It's too much, it's too much. Now let's see if it's all for the last piece of Exodia. We just need that one ring of Vlad. If not, it is a terrible, tumultuous track. Yes. But we yeah. got <laughs> the final piece of Exodia, and it is officially now go time. Good evening. I'm Ruby Hart, and tonight it will be the pleasure of myself, Peace Egg, and Sunbro Jade to speed run for you. Over the next hour, you will witness eight horde levels containing glitches, protein, coordination, and several variations of the unbred. But I must beg you one thing, just one. Do not watch, bear witness. Imagine each flavor, savor, relish. Consider every moment that plays before your eyes. Be mindful, but do not watch. Our speed run is too precious for that. And look around you. Here we are at Summer Games Done Quick 2023 together. And on that note, let's begin. Are you ready, chefs? Yes, yes chef. chef. Are you ready, Hobbs and Kyle? Yes, yes chef. chef. Are you ready, Games Done Quick? All right, there time to find out. We have our last chance after this chicken pizza uh, for come a on, potential. Come on, come on, please, cheese please, 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 cheese, 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 cheese. But you do see that Ruby is preparing another base just in case. Oh, oh that's rude. Sausage. All right, that's right. okay. That's ready okay. Ready to go. Now they're all done. They all right. just have to wait. This for is final. This pizza to bake. Uh, time is going to go as soon as Horde defeated appears. Time. time. <sighs> Kyle, what was the time on that? Your new world record is 50 minutes, 31 yes. seconds. Yes! Very Make nice some job. noise. <laughs> Game's done quick for that world record. You saw it live. <gasps> because it is actually time for the turtle races. Is everybody ready for some turtle races? <laughs> All right. So the way this works, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, there's four turtles, there's four of us, so I think I'm gonna be turtle one. Uh, Motas, are you, you can be turtle two. Puexel, you can be turtle three. And Kat, you can be turtle four, okay? Woo! Uh, so everybody enjoy the turtle races. Thank you again for the donations. Uh, may the best turtle win. I'm gonna think, the, I think the first one's gonna win. I'm biased. I'm, I'm all in on four all right, over here. Let's go here three. Go. Turtle, turtle. Come on, three, you can do it. Let's go, one. <laughs> Pump those feet. Yeah. Aww. I wasn't looking. What happened? <laughs> Come on, box. There we go. All right, we're going to float on this box for a long time. we got to climb this whole thing. So, Kyle, you got time for like two donations here if you want. <laughs> sure, how about $50 from Metal Box that says, good luck on your run, Dane. Trash can, please. And we've got $100 from Do Wolf, who says, by God, it's dangerous with a steel chair. <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching, but it's incredible. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> now you can see the edge of the texture right up here. We are, this is the out of bounds boundary here. So we're gonna try and get right up on this thing. You'll notice how much longer this takes with a box compared to with a chair or a trash can. So <laughs> this is the edge of the texture. We're gonna quick save, because you cannot quick save when you're out of bounds, fun fact. Huh. I'm gonna get. Okay. Why didn't we think of going backwards for 17 years? Okay, uh, you haven't been speedrunning this for 17 years. Okay, no one thought of that though. I don't think anybody speed ran this until 
There was uh, yeah. recently. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Until like, someone threatened your family. All right. So uh, <laughs> we're going to see a lot of Christmas lights and things like that. Just trust the process. Uh, this is all going to glitch out really badly right here. Um, we are going the right way. I promise. Everything will be fine. The end of the level will load in. It, it, at at least I bit. really hope it does. <laughs> so I'm just floating on this box until we reach it. Now I'm going to kind of keep my eyes out. There it is. All right. So we are skipping the entire mine section, which had two different routes, all of, both of which were really, really terrible. Uh, and this is going to take us into the final boss fight already. This is a not wow. a long run. So we are... Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. All right, so the final boss is uh, this gigantic gorilla? Gonna land. Let's get that safety checkpoint. We're having an interesting run tonight. Uh, gonna come up here, hit this uh, spike, then time this very carefully, bounce off that seahorse into the cannons. Once we're over here, gonna come over to the left, and then gonna do very, just barely under max height. That should be good. Nice, let's go. Straight to the end of the level. Slick. All right, Priscilla, it's birthday time. So you'll notice that um, Passeray there just uh, went and uh, rode a tractor, which is our second piece of, uh, of machinery that our puppy gets to operate here. Thanks a lot, Priscilla. I had so much fun helping you out. Have a great birthday. Happy birthday, Priscilla. Happy birthday, Look Priscilla. Look how happy Priscilla. she is. Priscilla. She's zoomies. <laughs> Uh oh, we've been caught, Chef. We're gonna have to wiggle, Chef. Good okay, wiggling, nice. Chef. Wiggle, Thank chef. you, Chef. Oh, uh, super du jour, Chef. Yeah. Uh, it's not quite there, Chef. Uh, could we get more heat on that, please, Chef? Thank you, Chef. That's my bad. We'll get right on it. Oh, he's almost got out of time. Uh, Whoa. I am not, no bit. That's a PB, Chef. Let's yes, go. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do a buffered dash art here. We're going to dash, we're going to buffer it there, we're going to use just water here to cancel the, uh, the, all of our momentum. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. That allows us to dash very far horizontally without losing momentum as much, which lets us get over to places that we don't need. I hate what I'm you all did you to this room. Of this solution to this oh. puzzle, RD. So we used to do this normally. This is so cursed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right here. There we go. Developer intended solution, I'm sure. What? <laughs> So the way this um, skip works is that there's a runaway section at the very end of this level. And the way the developers structured this level is that um, it's actually put at the very bottom, like way below the stage. So again, this is a little stressful. I just, the one thing also that's important to note is I have to maintain my double jump. If I lose my double jump, I will not rise in the air. But if I do this correctly, I will save around nine minutes. You heard that right. So while I'm doing this, because I'm going to do this set of air parries, and there's going to be one more, so right now would be a great time for donations. Absolutely. Let's give some love to the 808 train that's been going on that was called by Doc over there. We've got $8.08 .08 from 808 saying, Dono for best robo, 808. We have 808 from Anonymous, no comment. We have 808 from Bob from IT saying, much love from Discord, Chef, this day. I definitely have to play it again after today. This goes to drop in Corsica, as I was too nice during my playthrough. Did you get it? I did, except it's not over. OK. okay. You keep going. Hold, holding our applause. All right, yeah. one, one more donation. All right, happy to do so. Uh, we've also got a $25 uh, donation from uh, Bonnie that's saying, hi, it looks like you're in a rush. I heard there's a defect on the loose. I sure hope you, ha hope you have enough coffee to catch it. I hope it's strong coffee and not decaf. <laughs> All right, and now this is going to be the first instance. So right now I'm doing air parries to stall my momentum. And so coming up in a bit, you see these lights. This was the very opening section of the level. So give me, I'm going to take this a little safe because I need to land on this ceiling. 
Okay, so that's the first part. It's not over. Going forward. So we're going back all the way to the, be uh, to the entrance of where we slammed our face into the wall. Okay. So again, we're, we're just holding forward. Just going to keep air pairing the stall a little bit. And in a little bit more time. This is the runaway section. I just need to position myself so I land. If I land on the pillar, then I should be fine. I'm gonna take this prime save. We're good, okay. So this part's fine. So now we're gonna run on this rail. Go over here. Do a CGS. Missed it. Jump here. Jump on this platform. I have to mention, there's a lot of invisible ground below me. So if I fall, then this will all be for naught. But we're almost done. Run right, run straight. Double jump on this rock. That's it. That's us. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. Wow! I cannot emphasize how hard that was. That was amazing. <laughs> and I would also like to emphasize, Moist Rock did not wow. practice that. No, yeah, that, no, was, we that, was, <laughs> that was not we. Oh, man. Oh, audible for that one. <laughs> Woo! So this is the big one. So everyone at home, here's your big trick and how Bastion any percent works. Pause the game. Make sure Numlock is turned off. I, uh, should be. It's off. All right, cool. You're going to press numpad 5. Numpad 5 yeah. at the same time? Nope, no, just hit, oh, no, just just hit the number 5. Yep, okay. go ahead and hit it. So what this has done is this has given you control of the game behind this menu. Uh, because if you have the numpad turned off, if you look at it, the number 5 is not an input anymore. It's just a blank key, right? The game doesn't really know how to handle that, uh, so you end up stacking a bunch of menus. Uh, so now uh, you're just going to scroll a bunch of times until you hear the sound of shards picking up, stopping. Wait. There. You just picked up all the shards you need to complete the game. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, right? Uh, this is one of my favorite tricks in all of speedrunning. Uh, go ahead and hit escape a bunch of times until you gain control again. There you go. And now just roll through the gate and then off the left. Here's a fun thing as well. So, want to explain this? <laughs> Whoa, all right. So right now, Cronus is holding down the jump button. And if you attack the air when you're holding down the jump button, you get a height boost like you saw every time. Now, Kronos started falling and entered that door. If you fall when you wow. enter a door, you get out of bounds very easily. That's the second method we use to get out of bounds. Werewolves are a normal enemy that can spawn in. So what can happen is you can... Oh, oh I hear one. Is this it? Is Come this, on. We might be lucky. Oh on. my yes. god, that is that, insane oh luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I, I can't <laughs> believe this is wild. We need to basically get on the, the big sister's head as she's jumping away. And then kill her in midair while she's spinning you around like it's a roller coaster, so we can clip through this door. So this is the this is the scary one. Alright, I think Let's that's go BT! And the first one still. Wait, that one didn't die. Wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Woo. I, okay. That was sick. Good and luck, Elk. Good one luck. of the coolest yeah. tricks in this entire. Yeah. Game. If you've never seen this before, you're in for a treat. So I'll just let it speak for itself. Oh, come Beautiful. on. Oh. Oh, oh, I splattered. So that was close. a rough angle. That looks good. Oh. So uh, that's where we just were. That is the deployable cover launch. So the game doesn't want you to be inside the deployable cover, so it pushes you out. But by crouching and moving at a very specific speed, you can maximize the force that it ejects you out at. So, And that's how you can get a ridiculous launch like that. We're going to hear this a lot, by the way, guys. Shut up in there, will you? He's so Shut polite up about there, it. Shut up in there, will you? <laughs> Shut, up in Shut up in there, will you? Come on, audience, join in. Hey. 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 
Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Hey! 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 Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? You know, I know this isn't about me, but I feel like I'm starting to get my feelings hurt all the same. <laughs> This is the best yeah. audience. I love I you guys. love it. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Wolf 2. Yeah, Wolf 2 The is is also just as hated in the original. Is She was going to run back and forth between various trees and behind a hill. And the, the only way you can really keep track of her is if, even if you lose her is uh, the stinger. Uh, I hope everyone is okay with us bringing a stinger to a sniper fight. We're not going to use it, She's but we can do it. So she's already behind a tree. Yeah, we yes. definitely don't want her to hug those trees. That's the biggest thing about this fight. We don't want her yeah. to ever be behind a tree for longer than a few seconds. There we go. Oh, that was and, nice uh, shot. Nick's positioning on this in this fight. He's standing on where this, the PSG One T ammo is going to spawn. And uh, she's double back behind the. Uh... At least she did it while you could see her. Hey, wow, yeah, that was That's a good. really good fight. My goodness. Like. We were talking about how much we hate it. I mean, people hate that fight because she can do all the stuff. And then and she was just she, so nice. She's like, Nick, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, the helicopter boss, they kind of want you to use guns. And if you don't have any guns, if you use throwable weapons on it, you can do a lot of damage. Now, the throwable weapons, you don't have to like, lower the helicopter. And you have to throw things. It's a long process. It's going to weave in and out. And we're not going to do that. I'm going to spit on it. So, spitball guns just destroy helicopters. I don't know what it's made out of, but um, yeah, we're just going to use a, this. Uh, I do have to be careful not to miss any, because I miss too many, I don't win. And look, the helicopter's down with the power of spit. Echoes All right, check so, out this reload animation. Oh yeah, so we take out the clip, and you just put it right back in. <laughs> <laughs> so the reload animation doesn't actually do anything. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a second here. Also, I actually have some health here. I wasn't expecting that. Usually that actually doesn't work. Um, so we can shoot the gun while we're reloading. <laughs> also, nice. since we actually have health, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for bear boost here. Yo, we got it! Oh, oh, bear wow. boost. <laughs> so I don't know if that actually saves time, but uh, you can get damage boosts uh, from enemies. Uh, that bear also does a random amount of damage, so he could have just killed me in one hit. Uh, fortunately, he only did about 20 damage there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, now, the manipulation that we are really excited to show off is the treasure room exit manipulation. By pausing on this exit tile here and buffering an A-press, we're gonna manipulate the exit in this room to be in the top left of this maze-like treasure room. And there it is, top left, just like we said. Uh, yeah, thank, this, this is what we're so excited about. This, this was discovered last year that we can manipulate the RNG. That exit could have appeared in any of eight different places, but by knowing where it is in advance, we can minimize the amount of time spent in each treasure room, which is pretty helpful for a speed run. Um, but more than that, it helps survivability in general. But now, I just want to point out, CJ just picked up another super shot upgrade, so we're going to use that right here. Yells is taking point, forming himself into a wall for CJ to use him to line up another super shot, get through that door without a key, going into another treasure room in it for the second and final World for a Treasure Room. Now, I cannot stress enough how much these rooms could kill runs. This late in the run in the pre minip era, you could have wasted a minute and be in jeopardy of losing all your health. Now it's first try every time. So right here you'll see Catalyst create a lot of saves. They're going to be on top of the boxes and he's going to abuse the boxes opening animations in order to do some very weird things with the physics engine. So he's going to grab a couple grenades and he's going to use the grenades with the boxes to do some very interesting things. So he basically opens the box while a grenade is on top of it, and that prevents the box from opening until the grenade explodes. And by exploding the grenade at the correct time and standing at a correct location, you should be able to create a quick save that carries your momentum from the box exploding. And then he's going to launch straight up into the air and then drop to low FPS to try to reduce fall damage. And there we go. So that was yeah, the so, first so Mars skit. That's the first. That's the first one. Yeah. Now the notes. They're they're completely RNG, right? Are they deterministic or are they based on inputs? Oh, uh, they're completely RNG. Holy moly! Like, yeah, where the 
the arc that they're going and where they spawn from. Yeah, and like the speed of the arrows is random. Um, and also kind of the spread as well. This is this is very luck based, but it is at the same time incredibly skilled. Got another run going. Okay, so we pull up a little bit. Got through. Long to the left. Go to the left. No. Okay. Almost down. Oh! And because that kind of restricts your movement, it makes this so difficult because, like, the bullets get super dense and just keeps getting more and more dense. Yeah, you really want to avoid the laser hitting the top and having all the bullets splash all over the place. Just want to keep them towards the bottom as much as possible. Because that's just kind of where most of the... <laughs> most of the space is. Can I get this? Still quite a while. All of the day 10 spell cards have like this huge endurance aspect to it. Couldn't even get that much damage in that. Does. Multiple characters enter the same, same stage in this game. Yes. It's very interesting to see different areas of the same stage as we go through the game here. And uh, here, Alpha's lining up for a skip called Windy Valley mm. at three skip. Uh, this lineup looks a bit sketchy, but you're good. I okay. think we're good. This is good. Um, this is good. We'll so see. we had to dodge a couple of death planes there. They're invisible to us, so we have to. We have a lineup that we count in our heads. It's very complicated, um, but it's not too difficult. Uh, this lineup will take us straight to the end of the stage. We see it loading in here. Alpha is a good. We're going to land at the bottom of the stage and collect the Chaos Emerald. Right on very, the very, very good. Very, very right good. Right on the Emerald. That was really good. Really, really good. Uh, we're, we're gonna do something special here. Uh, we'll see if we, we get it. One more try. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Nice. Nice. Oh my god! No, so cool. okay, that I believe a piece of hearts over there. I don't yeah. Just kind of eyeball it. Um, yeah, Zora Mask generally considered in Blitz at least to be the weakest of speed. Oh, yes! Let's, let's go! Yes! Oh my my man! Let's go! Big roller. If only he could wear the frog suit, I'd be cosplaying as the Sonic Adventure character. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, there's so many annoying enemies in this game. It's ridiculous. All right. Go mode in three, two, one. No. Oh. That, <laughs> that is... is that is the most useless mask in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's one of the few masks in the game that does not lead to any checks in the setting. Woo! Basically any setting. Any setting, yeah, Like yeah, in yeah. The, the vanilla game, it just does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of going fast today, so that's not going to be a lot of time. Uh, danger's going for... Oh, did you get it? Maybe. Yo, yo! Yo! Let's go! That okay, is so that, hard. Yeah, no, that variation of lake clip is a two frame window with a very precise position setup. I that am very is... happy I got that. That was one of the ones that Tyrone was showing me. He was like, you gotta get this, you gotta nail this at G. That is. So. I can't overstate how difficult this is, even with a camera setup. Yeah, the problem is like, it is like basically pixel perfect on the camera setup. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is the one I can feel it. Yes! Oh, no! Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic. That's actually tragic. Hey, we're right here. Do it again. Chat, give dangers your energy. Chat, Woo! and live chat. Let's Woo! Do it. I can't not call them chat. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! And yes, Chef! The back to back. That was crazy. Woohoo! All right, so here we have another trick uh, pretty famous in Paper Mario speedrunning called Blue House Skip, where with some frame perfect jump and some precise stick movement, you can just jump into the Blue House. Yep. That door is locked on the other side, so we can't really enter it. That skips a whole bunch of chapters. That's, just a few. That just trick saves like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it skips chapters three and four and a lot of five.
And most of two. <laughs> Back in 2016, uh, a good friend of mine named Misfits, he, what, uh, <laughs> his first name was Jonathan, and he was watching GigaDB's uh, AGDQ 2016 run, I think. And he was talking to me about it, because he knew I loved Paper Mario, that was my favorite game of all time. Uh, he unfortunately is no longer with us because of COVID, but in one of our conversations during that time, he asked me if I if I could beat GigaDB's time on the GDQ stage, and I, I told him, heck no, like, I'm not a speedrunner, I could never do that. Uh, but it really goes to show, you know, seven and a half years later, things really can change, and I should have believed in myself all along. He would be so proud to see me here today. <laughs> Uh, we have we have a very exciting thing coming up here. This is this is going to be a world premiere. For you had a you had a bit of an unfortunate encounter with this stage previously. The world just flashes Ooh. sometimes, guys. Yeah. And so um. now I'm really really delighted to introduce the KZ oh. Fruit Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my face all over this place? Look at, there I am. Look at me. I am so handsome, guys. I'm just so handsome. Um, <laughs> So, uh, shout out to Grove Spaz <laughs> for actually just deciding to write texture <laughs> replacement tools for this game. Something nobody asked for, uh, honestly. But yeah, when I did this run at ESA, <laughs> I just dove straight into the pits of the crime cavern, and um, people just don't let me forget this. Yeah, I... I <laughs> and this is perhaps the furthest we've gone with this joke. We have perhaps taken it to an extreme here. <laughs> but, you know... This mission has lots of weird things that are that could happen. First, we gotta print some news. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, this is the most likely place in the run for a mega jump. Uh, I'm gonna set it up and hold down the button, and we'll see what happens. There's a pretty low chance of it, but on the GDQ channel. Oh! Yeah, dude! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the chance of that no. is so low, you it's said, staggering. <laughs> That's the magic word is I, low chance. Yeah. <laughs> when I practice this game, I get that like 1% of the time. When I do this uh. run on the GDQ Twitch <laughs> channel, it's like 80% for some reason. It's, yeah, I think you're about to be struck by light. Out of a sample size of like six. Uh, now nah, that's New York. That's New York. <laughs> Hands up. Hands down. Shake that, shake that, shake that booty butt. Okay, he's dead again. Come on, babe. Shake that booty butt. We're never down in Rome. You jiggle in your booty butt. Go ahead. Say what? Go ahead. Insurance. Hands up. Hands down. Shake that, shake that, shake that booty butt. Come on, babe. Shake that booty butt. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, obviously just pits and platforms everywhere and enemies trying to snipe you into them. Do I have time for one quick, clever donation? Just a sec. No problem. I'm not. Yep. Oh my god. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. We have health. We have exact health. Yep. Yeah. Well done. We got a, a tricky boss fight coming up here, and then we'll be, be done with these this set of castle stages. So, flame very difficult to use here. Yeah, hell oh, no, baby. <laughs> one Let's go. <laughs> Fail D! Fail D! <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. All right, that's part one. one. Uh, he won't hit me. All right. Okay, we'll try again. So I can use Boomerang to cancel this guy's fire breath. Okay, there we go. All right, last part. Yes! Let's, oh, go. Let's, go. Let's go! Yes! Woo. Very nice, dude. Woo. That, that is what we want to see. Give it up out there for that amazing awesome. pop-off.
Okay. Uh, you got, dude. You got it. Go. Let's, let's give it one more. We'll let's do one it. more. Yeah, one yeah, last yeah. try. Come on, play it in. Let's see what I can cook here. This is looking better. This is the payoff right here. This looks good. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, dude! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! That was one of the only people in the world that can do that right there. Woo. This is the payoff right here. This looks good. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, dude! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! That was one of the only people in the world that can do that right there. Woo. You don't know how relieved I am. Oh my god. It's not over yet, though. We gotta get back to the dish from before. So we're gonna use a grab star to boost us, just like that. And we're gonna use another platform velocity trick here. So we're gonna hit this platform no way you're going right it. as I go off of it, right here. Dude. And that's gonna fling me all the way up. And I can just fly straight back to BT in the dish. And we're no back in way, arm. dude. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. There's no way you did both of those. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get some shout casting. See, what up we in here. all right? What we need from you, the viewers, five dollars to help this man succeed because this is legitimately one of the hardest bosses in the game. And he's got the difficult uh, purple. I, you thing. keep rolling that. I don't know how you keep rolling that modifier. Modifier, there, thank you. There are, are there are other modifiers in this game. On boss fights, I mean. That was a nice jump. That's, yeah. I'm just nervous at this point. Yeah. Thanks, me too. I know. No, you got this, dude. Yeah. You got the shock. I'm surprised I dodged that. Halfway there. This is going a lot cleaner than last time. Knock on. Okay, we can't. We can't be saying things like that okay, anymore. You're right. Yeah. We we like surely we've learned our lesson by this point. Because remember when that desert, I said it's over. I've never learned my lesson ever in my life. That is true. You didn't. You didn't take any damage there. This is looking this is looking so bad this is looking really bad this is a very bad fight are you thanks sure? for the words encouragement here i really appreciate there it there we but go <laughs> he's trying to reverse jinx it yes <laughs> uh, merc has has already done some tricks but we'll get back to those uh, because he's going to go out of bounds at the very start of this level there's some weird interaction nice. with the wow. scene here and now i'm going to shut up for a second because Merkaz is about to do some movement where he needs to kind of listen to his spins. So he fixes the camera there. Nice. Now he's back in balance, actually. Grabs the crystal. All right. Nice. Uh, great. great job. That Grab it. Yeah. Right. Okay, back, we got it back in there. One more time. Don't spin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, he's going to end up coming all the way across the screen now. All right, good super here. Now he's going to spin back. And time will be on the final hit. Right now, time. time. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that went oh, quick. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, okay. 1945, that's a world big, record, guys. A big world Huge record in TV record. for us. That's, that's freaking Yo. fantastic. Give it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, woo! That's so funny. Keep it coming, Dylan. Oh, sure thing. I got, I got so many more. I've got ten dollars from a Dragon Man Tank that says, "Dear Rootin' Tootin' Advice, long time listener, first time caller. Any suggestions on keeping robots from stealing my cattle?" <laughs> Everybody, they complete the level. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> but, okay. All, only thing I can say, if you, if you need help with your cattle, you know what always does the trick. 
WD-40. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say what you do is you sneak in the middle of the night, put a little 40 on there, give them a little double D, bada boom. They're out. They're gone. They they can't do much. Or lather your cows in butter. They get real slippery. Nobody can pick them up. Oh, that, uh, that, I've done oh, it. Oh, yeah. You ever lathered your cow in butter? <laughs> Let me tell you, that's a hoot and holler right there. So we have Riku Ansem. Uh, Riku basically allowed Ansem to possess him for a little bit of extra power so that he can get Sora back in this rematch. Mist is going to basically stagger and then go into an Ars Arcanum, and then he's going to try to stagger him again, get into another Ars Arcanum, and we should be able to clean up phase one pretty easily. All right, great. He's got his hand powered up. He's in phase two, and now Mist is going to try to avoid his, uh, Riku's Dark Aura oh. Desperation move as often as he can if he can get the stagger back in. All right. He's going to try to do a five-hit loop to keep Riku staggered. The reason that he can do this is because Riku Ansem now retaliates after four hits, but uh, if you're quick enough with your air combos, you can sneak in an extra hit before he staggers. There we go. Excellent. And because Rage of the Gods is an item, it's an instant hit. And so that should kill with this. We'll go Rubicon. So we've already queued with an Arctic Wind and with Lazaga. And so now we're going to heal up finally with Fusoya. Wait for a fear to get some damage. Throw out a... Okay, try to get an escape buffer. But now we're going to Elixir. Send it. And send. This should be good. That was low damage. This should be yeah. perfect. It's fine. It's fine. This should kill. Hey, clean fight, clean Let's go. fight. Let's go. That was super clean. Okay, perfect. All right, so what's going to happen here is Mitch is going to ride right by him on Torrent here, grab his attention, and then he's going to hug this wall here. He's going to hop off Torrent onto this rock. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll see the DTS kind of chase him over. He's going to watch that right side of the screen for DTS to stop casting Fireball. And okay, there he is. So he's going to run over to this cliff edge. He's going to wait for a jump attack and parry it. And then hit him on the butt and... Beautiful. Oh, goodbye. Let's All go. How can there possibly be? What How can there doing? be more? Wow! Mid-air <laughs> lol. Meanwhile, Curb's, Wait, right, Curb's right back there as well. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> With every attempt there by Panga, Curb's is closing the gap at a rapid rate here. Oh, the up and he gets. And here he's we the go. Curbs is here too now. Who could? It could go either way. Curbs oh, gets it. Curb gets it. There's no way. Wow. That is insane. Wow. And look at the time. Look at the, look time. At the time. Five seconds oh to spare. That might be one of the Crazy most things stuff. I've ever seen. Oh my god. Gets the jump. Okay. She knows. Oh. Waiting. Waiting. Into the pipe. But there's more. There's more. Wow. How is there, there more? more? How is there more? Oh my, oh my god! god. No. The one shot! But is there more? This might be it. Don't get bored. There it is, Jojo! Getting level Woo. three for Team for Chats. Wow. That was right there, too. He that just was got big. kicked off. That was massive. That was big. Um, it, was, it did work for a while. It did work for a while. I'm surprised he didn't keep it going, but he's deciding to reset it with another parry here. Excellent, Excellent job. 
Okay. And here comes the next part. So what we can see on camera, Bubsy is listening for that spear to go back in the ground as Ganon gets back up. Almost there. Almost there. Very low on durability. He's got to get these last few hits. As long as that final slam happens before the shield. Get it oh! Let's go! It's so cool. With Yoshi, yeah. It feels so good. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye, Yoshi. Everyone say bye, Yoshi. Last try. Yeah! Oh! Frame perfect. I would never fail you. I would never <laughs> fail you. <laughs>